Did you know that you don't need special tools or kits to make your own covered buttons? Today I'm going to show you how to make covered buttons. I kind of like this technique over the kit only because I have had covers pop off with the kit ones in the past and these will not pop off. They are completely sewn. You make your own little shank there out of thread and fabric. All you need to cover your own buttons are some actual buttons in whatever size that you need or a little bit smaller depending on how thick your fabric is. Along with your button, you're also going to need some of your final fabric and you can just use scraps. Just make sure it's big enough to cover the button and then some. You're also going to need a needle and thread. This isn't completely necessary, but it is very helpful to have a piece of scrap fabric to use as a base for your button before you put your final fabric on top. It's gonna help A, make sure that you can't see the button through your fabric, and B, it's going to give your fabric something to grip onto on top of the button. And you're also going to need a glue stick. This is optional. And you can use a fabric glue stick or you can just use a regular Elmer's glue stick. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first you're gonna take your button and you're going to use it as a template to trace around and make the base circles like that. But what I'm going to do now is take my glue stick, put some glue, and then I'm gonna put it on top of the rounded side of the button. I'm gonna put it on the rounded side because I want that side to be covered. That's the base for our button. Okay, next I'm going to take some of my scrap main fabric. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that if it's directional at all, something where there's two sides that look similar but you know you have to have a certain side, just make sure that that is the one you're using. I'm going to cut out a rough circle. Be generous with this part. Give yourself plenty of excess to sew around. We're gonna cut off the excess later anyway. Now you're gonna take your glue stick again and put glue on the top of the base. And it's just a glue stick. It's not, you know, super glue or something. So if you need to peel it off and re-stick it, you can. It just helps keep finicky fabric from sliding all over the place when you're sewing your button. Making sure the grain is straight, not twisted or pulled at all. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna leave that for a second. And then I'm going to take my needle and thread. You don't need a very long tail. I'm going to do a running stitch around the perimeter. And you don't wanna to get too close to the button because you have to be able to close over top, remember. So maybe about a quarter of an inch away from the rim here. And this can be really quick, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now I'm going to grip your button between your fingers like this. And you're gonna gently pull on this and it will act like a drawstring. Close around the button. Pull snug. Don't pull too tight because your stitches can rip out. So now you can wrap the thread around the base like that, very tight, and then start going back and forth through the shank. Just wherever, back and forth a whole bunch until it feels secure or you run out of thread. This is just gonna really make sure that the fabric is really locked in place. And when it starts getting difficult, use your thimble, push the needle through. And then when you feel good, you can snip off the thread and then you'll have this jellyfish looking thing. <laughs> and just cut off the excess, leaving a little bit and there's your shank and your lovely covered button. Ta-da! 
so I hope you see how easy these are and I hope that you give them a try. And if you find yourself thinking, oh my gosh, I don't have a button that matches and I don't have a kit, well, guess what? Now you know how to make them without a kit. I think they're very beautiful and professional looking and there's no danger of them popping off. So if you try to make your own covered buttons like this, then let me know and let me know how it goes. I just dropped one. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram for some more sewing adventures. My Facebook group is Vintage Sewing with Liz. I would love to have you. And until next time, thank you for watching.